Hey guys, Justin here. I'm in Lakelands right now at the bus terminus. And uh, let's run through here. And today we're gonna be, this video, we're gonna do the uh, new 577 that just came out with Lakeland Station opening, which is one of the dumbest route for Lakelands because it only travels one kilometer and it's a circular route. So of course, because it's so short of a circular route, I won't be filming the full circular. It's just gonna be weird. So that's why I'm gonna walk the first half of the circular with a time lapse, and we're gonna take the second half and come back to Lakeland Station. The problem is right now it's raining, so I'm trying to actually wait until the rain try to like go go away a little bit first before I start the walk. So now, box. So that's why let's just go and go through a little bit with this video. It's a very short one, so we can actually have some time to go through all of the sands here at Lakeland Station to explain to you guys a little bit. So here we are, started sand one, which is the new rerouted five eight four which goes to Mandra Station via Medora Bay and Challenger Road. And here's the timetable. Every single day have service with deviating trips on weekends to goes to Dolphin Key. And we also have some random services that goes to the, also the, uh, those to the uh, uh, schools, which is close by. We have like three of them, isn't it? Yep, we have three of them. So that's why. Okay, so sorry about the disruption there because I got interrupted by a phone call. Here's 3339, which is a pretty new B8 here, down here by Transdev here. And also there's a B12 over there. I don't know what's going to do with the 577. If they'd use a B12 for the 577, that would be so bold, so like, completely like flabbergasted. For the Sand 2, is this the train replacement bus stop for 909 to Mandra. And we have the 585, which is the replacement of 558 that goes down to Mandra Station via Mandra Road which is the most straightforward and the most, the fastest one to go down. Weekends is one hour per bus. Weekdays is half an hour per bus. And of course, some of the trips goes to random schools again. We have onto stand three, which is the 586, which is also down to Mandra Station, which is the old 587, which passes through at the back to go to some of the schools with two deviations, which you will be seeing actually very soon. One is to Lakeland Shopping Center, one is to Meadow Spring Shopping Centers, which they only have the uh, Lakeland Shopping Center deviation on weekends. They don't have the Mid Meadow Springs one. Before it was one hour per bus for the 587 with every single day deviations to Meadow Springs because they terminate at the Lakeland Shopping Center already before. So what's the point of having a shopping center deviation for Lakelands? But now they go here. So that's what they add an extra deviation for that. And uh, they don't have it on weekends. Weekends is one hour per bus for just the Lakelands deviation. Weekdays is 30 minutes. Stand 4 over there is uh, set down only, so I'm not going to talk too much about that one. Let's just go across to the outside. I made it over here. This is the 586 stands to go to a uh, college. <laughs> to go to a uh, just a college deviation, which is so stupid. Look at the stand. It's a 909 replacement stand to Perth direction, and also the 586 that goes to Coastal Lakes College, which is a close by college somewhere over there with how many service on this timetable look at this three services <laughs> and one line over here yeah there goes this 3024 I don't know what it's gonna do now now we're gonna walk back to the other stands which we include 574 which goes to Warnborough station it's a replacement of the 558 and it takes the exact same path as the 558 up to Warnborough station by past the exact same and it's stand six which the frequency is also pretty, pretty, uh, pretty good frequency. I think it's 15 minutes per bus on weekdays and 30 minutes on weekends. Here's the Lakeland Station main entrance. Looks very awesome. So, and now what's that B12 is gonna do? Really don't know. Here's the timetable. Yes, 30 minutes on weekends, 15 minutes on weekdays. I think 20 minutes for midday. I saw some 20 minutes. And here's the dumb 577, which we're going to be actually filming in this video, but I'm just walking around the stands right now. Which is only weekdays, uh, uh, weekdays exclusive. 20 minutes per bus during rush hours and one hour per bus off peak. Look at this crap. <laughs> and it doesn't even say where does it go. It just said to Lakeland Station Circular Route. It doesn't even say where does it go. Okay, it's doing 585 for that bendy b12 it doesn't even say where does it go usually say to Lakeland station via something something and a circular route but it's just a circular route then what does it where does it go it goes to uh, a spot called dragon dragonfly boulevard which is actually just one kilometer down from there so that's why we're gonna start walking to that spot and then we'll take back 
This is the service I'm trying to catch here, the 257 service that starts here. So I try to start walking and then get there and wait for the bus to come over to take me back. So let's do it, we'll start time lapsing. All right, so I walked it like six minutes. The time lapse is like 40 seconds, but here is finally, we reached the first stop of the 577 route. You can see that whole six minutes, there are no stops. And this is one of the worst stops too. That side is better because they clear off the stuff, but this side, they didn't even clear off most of the stuff. They just put it right there. <laughs> yeah, what the hell is that? 28849 and over there is 2884 something. I don't know the number. Right, we'll walk one more stop and then we'll wait for a bus at that stop. All right, made it to here, which is actually already Dragonfly Boulevard. I literally just walked 10 minutes and I'm already here. So if you actually decide to just like walk 10 minutes, you can already get to Lakeland Station. Here is the last stop before the turn back spot, which is just up there. Here's 288850 and over there's the other stop. So basically that's the whole path and I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna board a bus here and I will take up to the turn back spot and then do the U-turn and we'll take back to Lakeland Station. Yeah. Hello. We'll go back to the station, yes? Yeah. Okay, good. Thanks. Okay, so got on board a uh, 2963. I actually saw her doing something else earlier on. And now she's back on here. Now I'm gonna take this one stop up to this. Uh, he, she is also probably actually like confused why she's doing this route. <laughs> but uh, here's basically the turn back spot. So here we are at the turn back spot, which is right there. Here's the turn back spot. And here's the U-turn for the bus to go back. <laughs> she, the driver is probably also completely like flabbergasted why he, why she's doing this route. Now, also the thing is with this route, the app, the app regarding this route's lifetime is completely off. Oh my gosh, the app! I don't know what who who actually edited the uh, the the lifetime for the app. The app is like 15 minutes early. For all of the time. This bus departed at 2.57 at Lakelands. The app says it's departed at 2.42. <laughs> and it sounds like the app doesn't even show anything, okay? But anyways, it was actually starting to rain, so that's why luckily the bus came on time. And basically that's the loop right there, and we already came back to the stop that we just were, which is just right there. So it's not weird to board there, because I just go up there and just turn back and quick go back. If I just walk one stop and then take at that stop, then that would be weird because I just go with the other side and take instead of doing this loop, but... Here you go, we'll go back now. Basically, I just walked like less than 10 minutes, so basically this guy... According to the app, this route takes less than uh, 6 minutes for the full journey. So, basically one side takes 3 minutes. So basically she's just doing 6 minute journey and then she's gonna change to another route afterwards. course no one is on this route so that's why no one is on here so basically because this is actually the first few days of service 
basically all mostly taking this route, just enthusiasts actually taking this route, including me. That's also all of the people are just filming, so that's why we're just taking this route. <laughs> you see, everyone literally is just walking. So, no one is actually even taking this route to actually go in here. Everyone's just walking. all of the school kids on the path there, they're just walking. They're not even actually trying to wait for this thing. Plus timing is completely wrong, so... Well, made it back to Lakeland Station. <laughs> what a fast one. Across the bridge and Lakeland Station right there. <laughs> like, who thought about this route? What's the point of this route? Literally walk 10 minutes, you can go in there. And it's, if you actually like, put more services on there, then it makes sense that like, like maybe elderly people can use this thing instead of actually walking the whole thing but it's one hour per bus <laughs> off peak who the hell would want to take this and it doesn't have service on weekends too like what's the point well made it back to Lakeland Station so we walk through the first half and we take the second half so here we are at Lakeland Station let's get out hey here we are at Lakeland Station 577 Lakeland Station Circular via Dragonfly Boulevard Hope you guys enjoyed this video Remember to like and subscribe Click the bell so that you get notifications when I post And I'll see you guys next time Check out these videos on top Click on these videos up top Check out the links in the description And peace